Hello everybody, it's Wednesday, August 28th. Looking at space weather, continuing on the comet. I know the world's burning. I know the world's falling apart. Sad to see. I, I could do stories or make videos about current events, how everything is playing out, how prophecy is playing out right before our eyes. It's, it's sad to see. Remember, Jesus said in the end times, they'll have eyes, but they won't be able to see. They'll have ears, and they won't be able to hear. But the ones that are able to see and hear are seeing a total decay, Sodom and Gomorrah, all over again around the planet, except a couple pockets here and there. But they're under attack, as you, can, as you all know getting to this comet let me focus on just the comet i mean i want to do i'll do videos on the other social politics events but space weather has an article here is go over there and check it out spaceweather.com been following them since the 90s dr phillips and crew put this together about how the stereo a spacecraft apparently in good health on the other side of the sun caught this See right there, you can see the comet going by. You see the blast from the sun reacting to it. Well, it won't let me freeze it, but there it is right there, Comet Tusiscon Atlas. And it goes on, the article's put together real cool, real good. And right here, if you click on this prediction to the contrary, this is the report that Sakan Sakania, and I'm murdering the name, that I covered on one of the videos. This guy is in the major leagues. He's considered like all pro. If he was in the military, he'd be a four-star general. But his report is educational, provides us with insight. And for those that uh, could read between the lines here. Now, reading this, it also displays a very robust ion tail. And there's serial signs of the nucleus disintegrating. This is good news for watchers. Tusukan can hold itself just a little longer. It'll become a naked eye object in late September 20, what, 25th, 26th, 27th, around there, in October. He predicts the comet will brighten to a magnitude plus four or plus one at its perihelion or August, uh, September 27th. That's when it's closest to the sun to a daybreak peak of minus three to a plus one on october 9th and produce a quite possibly 20 degree dust tail visible under the dark sky then it gives a description of another comet they're comparing it to it could only be seen in the southern hemisphere the astronomers are having a little trouble because look at right here the sun glaze stereo a movie gives us a idea that it hasn't broken apart now my suggestion to dr philip and the crew a lot of people are not going to know what a 20 degree plus tail is it will be good to educate the newcomers and let them know what a 20 degree possible 20 degree in miles is what i'm thinking we're talking about what am i and i might be wrong because i don't i don't know everything okay uh put that right out on the table i'm guessing this is a just as a guess could be what 70 million tail okay this, when they say possible minus four that'll be right here venus at its brightest or if it's a minus one for example that's like looking at sirius which is the brightest star in the night sky the sun is minus 26 the full moon is minus 12 so this gives you an idea when they say minus comparing it to uh, the other planets and moon and sun and if we're talking was it 20 degrees let's just say 25 degrees for example if it does brighten up that'd be the equivalent of putting your fingers like that and seeing the big dipper i mean everybody sees the big dipper so that gives you an idea in the size they think it might be just a side note this right here uh, early voting starts on september 20th we have the ready to be put into the system talking in codes just to give you an idea on the size uh 1910 haley's tail went up to 69 million miles and the one in 1811 was 110 million miles just to give you an idea the biggest one they recorded was 1843 at 200 million miles if you look down here just to compare it here's the sun here's mercury here's venus and here's earth and here's mars let's say 70 million 
kilometers. Let's put it right about here. Let's say if it did, for example, 70 million kilometers, for example, I'm just, I'm guessing I could be totally wrong. We're talking approximately 43 million miles long at 20 degrees. So that's what I have right now. So much other things I want to talk about. You could tell by the sound of my voice that things are not going so good for me. So I'm hanging in there, guys. I'm going to try to see if I can get this. Trying to make some sense. 1%. It's, I'm, my goal always been 1%. But there is a gentleman, a pastor, a, a minister, that I highly suggest that you follow. Because to me, he's on target. I highly suggest Pastor Patrick Wright. He's on target. Keep your hands lifted up, beautiful family in Jesus Christ. He has a lot here that connects with current events and the rapture which i believe it'll be very soon but highly suggest going to the site support him and help him out because he's on it and he'll give you more information on the religious signs we're living in the end times folks i don't want to sound like a doom and gloom i see it as clear as day there's so much more that i could provide that will support i'm here to support i want to talk about my situation with the D and how I've been totally, totally broken. I mean broke. They got me broke. The the spirits of Jezebel went after me. They sent their A team. The only reason I'm still alive still is because God wants me here at this moment. But I'm gonna continue the part of me, the the stubborn size, not don't don't ask for help. You're a man, you're a man. Go down with the ship. Don't use that SOS. I know the I suffer from post-traumatic stress from the military, chemical poisoning in the Panama Canal Zone on the eastern side by the Cologne. For those that's been down there ever know what I'm talking about. Fort Gulick, Fort Sherman, Fort David. In that area, I know it for a fact. But the government doesn't want to support or recognize that. It's a lot of the data's was lost at the last trump for the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible and we shall be changed amen it, and it's so true he has everything here all the signs jesus said look to the stars i mean look to the sun which there was an event in in china where where it had a reflection of seven suns and also you're getting reports around the world of a reflection of two suns and then the moon two moons and things falling from the sky we got asteroids falling just recently in brazil it was a car size and nasa didn't even catch it we got satellites falling too from the skies we got all the signs the animals everything everything revelation 17 verse well the whole chapter to be honest with you especially if i focus up for almost decades 2006 i put it out when the men's news daily chapter 17 verse 5 the nation of harlots and he put that in big letters even though they try to rewrite the bible a lot of people are rewriting the bible christians are being persecuted in africa everywhere in europe churches are burning left and right fatima the last pope kita saint malachi father martin i mean hopi prophecy at the end times People will be losing their minds. Nostradamus, Mother Chipton, Edgar Casey. I mean, I could go on and on and on and on. The Book of Revelation, Enoch, everything. And there's other religions and other cultures, too, that talk about these end times. And those that, that are able to see will see. And there's a lot of people being hit with view counts. So those are the ones that uh, are telling the truth. So, veterans, make sure your, your thing is clean to self-preservation just met just 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 remind yourself of the movie the zombies that you know what i'm talking about we got storms coming up explosions in the sun more more tropical storms hurricanes getting ready to pop up i found this site right here check it out now imagine this by fire holy mother is giving us so much signs so many warnings so many pieces of the puzzle my son will be revealed i mean we had the confirmation on the shroud the real face they try to debunk it they try to they they lied to the 1980s study it was a complete lie they took the the fabric from the 14th century they knew that was a patch that the sisters was trying to reconnect and they used that to deceive a lot of people but now that the truth has been revealed and the comet just recently reminding us of the face of i mean that's no coincidence there's so much other signs with the comet 12p heading in right near the, the cross uh, around september 9 8 
10, 11 north of it. There's signs there. See, comets are like messenger signs, like the Magi used to follow them because they reveal stories. They reveal warnings. They're omens. They're harbingers. What God is uh, going to going to do, he reminds us and he's warning us because he loves us. So he's giving us so many signs to get ready. It's going to happen. It's already a skies event. It's already happening. We got things falling from the sky. We got earthquakes. I mean, we got volcanoes waking up. The the food is being peed, letter P, fill in the blank. The economy is about to crash. Depression is illness. The fifth seal, sixth seal, pestilence, plagues. It's already in your face. I still don't see a November election. I'm no prophet. I see October, September, later September, October being possible event. I mean, people say, well, they've been preaching the end of the world for, for a long time. Yeah, but everything had to be in place, everything before. Uh, and, and it says that this has to happen, this has to happen from A to Y and then going to Z. No, now that all, everything, A, B, C, D, everything now in place, in place, in place. Sign when Israel was established, it was like the final generation, the harlots. See, in the Bible, it doesn't mention harlots that much. You might have maybe about five, six, seven references. I'm just guessing. But at the end, a book of Revelation, at the end times, it was in capital letters. Why was it put in capital letters? And it specifically said harlot. Because throughout the Bible, it said mankind. Man must do this. Man must do that. Man, man, man. Man and women. Man and woman. But at the end, it says the word harlots in purple. Drunken. Abomination. I remember seeing abominations of the innocents a long time ago. I can't remember what Bible it was. I think it was the Ethiopian. I, I don't remember. Everything's in place because I already been to the other side for a brief moment. Or was I there for a while? And I know I had to come back and correct things. I mean, I fell. I picked up myself and I got fell again. And I picked up myself again and I fell again. I ain't no saint, but I'm not evil like others paint me to be. I mean, I got broken, guys. I got taken to the cleaners by the ones that I was supposed to help me. They broke me. Uh, this will be fragments. Is there still hope? Yeah, there's still hope. There's, of course, there's still hope. But you got the the reptilians, the lizard people. And the thing is, they're not hiding it no more. They're not hiding it for those that know what I'm talking about. What uh, Nancy Pelosi said, reptilian. They're not even hiding it. You can see it in their face. That's why they said the nation of harlots in big bow letters.